Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one is about the GRE and GMAT waivers that have been going around since fall 2020. So people who applied in fall 2020, in spring 2021, and then there even the spring 2022 and fall 2022 now, all of them have had amazing opportunities. People who haven't been able to go overseas and were thinking about actually dropping their plan to study abroad well, even those people have actually taken advantage of these GRE and GMAT waivers and they have made it to some of the top most universities in the world. And yes, this doesn't affect your chances of scholarship in a lot of colleges as well. Some colleges it does, not for all, all the colleges though. So it's important for you to understand, are these GRE waivers sustainable? Should you be relying on them? Well, the answer is if you're going for fall 2022, and this would be the last thing I would be probably saying this for, the answer is yes, you can rely on them because even now, the vaccines just came out recently. A lot of people were not vaccinated this year as well. And that's why the waivers have continued. But let me just get you the exact statistic over here. We actually calculated this. And this is the GI waivers are getting old because 28% of the universities, 28% of the universities which waived off the GRE last year, they're now mandating the requirement that you have to take the GRE. Okay, that's more than one fourth of universities. So one in every four universities which waived off the GRE has basically taken back their waivers. They're now going to be accepting the GRE and that's going to be a mandate now. It's not something that is just optional. It's a mandate for these 28% of the universities that previously had it waived off. Another statistic over here is that many of the remaining 72% of the universities have made the GRE optional. So they're still saying, hey, look, it's optional, you can submit it, and a lot of them will say, hey, look, you should submit it, we prefer that you submit it, and some of them will say, look, it's optional, but you know, you may or may not submit it. But at the end of the day, if it's optional, there, there is a good chance that they're expecting you to submit it either way, right? Unless, of course, you have a reason why you could not take the test. So this would be the final term. If you are listening and you are not really sure about going for fall 22, spring 23, later on, right, this is the time for you. This is the time you want to avail these waivers because probably next year you will see even more universities. Hey, right now it's one out of four. Maybe next year it's gonna be two or three out of four universities that will now start accepting the GRE and will mandate it. Some universities will actually continue to wave it off and they've actually taken up that policy and they have established that, right? But those are like some of the very rare universities like UC Berkeley. Right. And there's actually a list of about 50 plus universities that have waived off the GRE and that you can go ahead and apply to for this year. It's a verified list. You can go ahead and you can check all of these universities that they are still waving it off. I've mentioned this in the previous videos. I'm mentioning this over here again. If you want, if you want to go see it, go ahead to the ymgrad.com website or to the ymgrad application. Go to, go to the articles page and look for GRE waived universities. You'll find the article right over there with a lot of verified universities that you can go ahead and apply to. So this would be the final term, I believe, that we are having these GRE waivers in so much bulk. Even if a student comes in and, you know, like we personally like it. If you, if some, some student comes in and tells us, look, I couldn't score well on the GRE, but I still want to go overseas. And we personally like having a solution for them, you know, at this point of time that, look, you don't need to worry about that because we've actually done this before. We've sent a lot of students without the GRE or GMAT and we can send you too. The only thing is that you have to figure out which universities are a good fit for you and which ones are waving off the GRE for this term as well, right? So if a lot of students have done it, you can do it too. And it's not just without scholarship, it is with scholarship as well. And this is something you can go ahead and verify on the admins rejects page. You can actually select the without GRE option, without GRE GMAT option, and you can also select the uh, with funding option. So that means you will see the admits of the people who have received funding, right? And at the same point of time, who have not taken these standardized tests or not submitted these standardized test scores. Of course, the requirements for the GRE as of now are not as high, even if you are scoring somewhere around a 310, that's a decent score in today's date. This used to be different back in 2019 though. People did not think that that was a good score. People needed a 320 plus. Right now, it's different. So yes, if you're preparing for the future terms, go ahead, start preparing for these tests. These will be required for the most part. Of course, if you do not want to limit your options, these will be required. And even today, if you, if you guys are watching for fall 2022, you may realize this. If you haven't taken the GRE, you may realize this, that your options are still a little bit limited. Not as much as you would expect, but they are still a little bit limited. You're not able to apply to every university of your choice just because some of them are not waving off the GRE, right? So go ahead, make sure that you understand this point 
and uh, you know start preparing for the test if you are watching for you know maybe spring fall 2023 or later terms it's gonna be a major major requirement you already have a lot of time even if you start today i think within two two and a half months you can wrap it up with the schedule that we've built for you i'll link it in the description within two months you can actually go ahead and finish off with the gre right finish off the gre so that's something that i would want you guys to do just a quick reminder from my end to you because that's something that you, these statistics are something that you know we do not share publicly otherwise we have a lot of these but i think this is something that i wanted to share with you guys so that you understand where we are heading into all right thank you so much for watching this video if you like the content make sure to sign up on wangrad and subscribe to the channel so that it helps me create more videos like this for you good day and take care for now